Capuchino High distinguished itself from other schools in the San Mateo district for its use of the International Baccalaureate Program instead of AP. There are some students that take upon the most rigorous courses in hopes of receiving an IB diploma. This rigorous course includes six IB classes, an epistemology class named TOK, a 4,000 word extended essay independently written of all the classes, and the fulfillment of CAS requirements standing for creativity, action, and service, which are essentially extracurricular activities. One becomes a diploma student in their junior year once they take on all the official IB classes. The workload is tough by itself, and compounded with other stresses of seniorhood, demands a lot from the few that take on the responsibility. In my own senior class, there are originally 20 diploma students, but by now, it has been reduced to 10. This documentary aims to give you a brief glimpse of what these kids do. Such is the life of diploma. This is Sierra Marie Bauer, a diploma student who takes IB drama as her elective. This is Jacqueline Guerrero, an IB student who takes art as her elective. And this is me, Christian Baranil Pasquale, who takes IB film as his elective. A lot of the work in my classes deal with international studies because IB is the international baccalaureate. What else is it going to deal with? IB, it's all about thinking critically, which could get really annoying at times, but I mean, there's a lot of essays, short answer questions, unless you're doing math and then you just get a bunch of problems, but um, it's, it's really hard because you really want to do a good job but the amount of thinking it takes, especially for IB diploma, when you have to think critically in seven different classes, it gets really difficult. Well, I play three sports. I play golf, and then I play basketball right now, which is very time consuming, so it's kind of hard. And then I do swimming, which is still kind of time consuming, but like it's not as bad. And then I am the student ambassador for the Millbrae Chamber of Commerce. So I get to go to their meetings and like plan events for Mowbray. I get to see my friends as much as I used to before, but uh, the only thing that's changed is that we're doing homework a lot more. And it's sometimes it's weird. Sometimes I think my family forgets who I am because I leave and I come back like 15 hours later. I'm the kind of person where I don't really let school get in the way of my social life just because I really like having a social life. but. It's hard when it gets really intense and stressful and you're out with your friends and you're in a movie or ice skating and you're like, oh my gosh, I have so much work to do when I get home. But um, I still have a social life. I can't go out as much as my friends do because a lot of my friends take CP classes. But I try to finish all my homework on weekdays so then the weekend's just free for me to go out and hang out with my friends. And even like if I didn't do IB, I don't think I would go out on the weekdays anyways. So I don't think it really has affected like any relationships that much. On regular work days, I usually just spend about three, two hours of homework, nothing stressful there. But then when the really work heavy classes like history and especially film come in and give you major projects, they just make me want to like tear my hair out. And towards the senior year, first semester, you have to fill out college applications and like they're killer on top of all your other homework. So then it's like, oh, I just want to give up and not do IB. But like, I'm already here and I've already made it so far, so why quit? The work becomes really stressful, especially like right now when it's right before final. So all the teachers are like, oh no, we need to get one more thing onto your grade before the final. So I have all these projects due this week and then the final to worry about and a whole bunch of IB stuff that I'm going to have to start thinking about. And I mean, you go into IB diploma knowing that it's going to be stressful and seeing people being stressed before you, but it's all about managing your time. Uh, I definitely think IB is worth it because I like the challenge and I think it has made me like a tremendously better student and like cap CP classes are kind of easy so I think that I wouldn't be as prepared for college. But um, giving up? No, I've never really thought about giving up. I mean I've kind of wanted to sometimes but I knew I would never do it just because I've told myself I was going to do this for the past four years of my life. The stress better be worth it in the end. Shoot. I don't know in the end I just want to make my parents proud and bring a the a sash, a diploma, 
and my graduation certificate home so they have something to post on the wall because I'm the oldest child and I'll be the first one to have that hung up on the wall. And when I move on to college, I'll be grateful for the program, my friends, and my family's support. Despite the rigors of the IB diploma, it is indeed possible to still have a life with good judgment and organization. Even so, there are thousands of other kids around the globe who take on the same responsibilities as the cappuccino diploma students do. Kids in Europe, Asia, and Africa all take on the same crazy program, albeit with different variations. The purpose of IB is to foster an international awareness, which in the long run is an attempt to open up the horizons of students who seek to make their own lives richer. It is a challenge, but not without reward. It comes with prestige, but not without blood, sweat, and tears. It is not for everyone, but for those who wish to challenge themselves and their limits, such is the life of IB Diploma.